Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, man. It is time. It is time for The Last of Us 2. This has been a long time coming, guys. Welcome to the live stream. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Jay Bridge is in lurk mode. All right, cool. Thanks for the lurk, man. I appreciate it. Um, man, I don't even really know what to say. We've been waiting so long for this. Uh, the game is installed and ready to go. It brings you right to this screen as soon as you load it up. So we got to go through some options here, but I don't want to delay really at all because I've been waiting for this for so long, guys. Let's see. Um, obviously, we want these in English. Text to speech. What text is text to speech, to speech for? Off. Enables narration of on screen text. Oh, wow. That's Left really cool. And right directional buttons. Change. Huh. That's a pretty cool feature, but we don't want that, obviously. Hey, Norman, what's up? You made it just in time, man. <laughs> Resize the markers so they fit the corners of your screen. All right. That well, looks like they're already pretty good. Brightness. Maybe I should have done this before I started. I didn't know it was going to be this in depth. Um, we, we can't do HDR. Brightness, we probably want about right in the middle, right? Um... Oh, no. Actually, I like to put that up a little higher than usual. So let's try it right around 5 and see how that looks. HUD brightness will probably keep where it is. Look at all this. They really want you to get this stuff squared away before you even start. <laughs> so... Do we want just story dialogue subtitles or do we want story and combat? Probably both, right? Would be my guess. Hey, Charlie, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out. Uh, size medium or large? Does anybody have any strong feelings about this? Do we want large or medium subtitles? Background. Enables a dark background behind subtitles to improve legibility. Huh. There's an insane amount of customization here. We can turn on the names of the speaker, we probably want that, right? Large is too large. Fair enough. <laughs> April Day, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. You guys may notice I'm trying a different um, pair of uh, headphones today, not my usual noise canceling ones. Which is a little weird for me because now I can like I can hear myself talking and it's it's actually weirding me out. But I just wanted to see how these would work on a stream. Okay, I think this is all fine, probably. Audio, we shouldn't have to mess with this at all. Dude, look at all this. They have just a crazy amount of accessibility stuff in here. Okay. Well, it's good to know that that stuff is in there if we need it. I'm going to uh, get started here. I'm going to tell you guys, I've managed to avoid major spoilers up until now, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> it was not easy. But, uh, yeah, I only know a couple things about this game, really, and I'm not going to say anything, obviously. Um, let's put uh, one standard disclaimer right up here up front. If you guys do know spoilers, please keep them to yourself. Keep them out of chat. It's not a joke. I will ban you if you drop spoilers in chat. So just don't do it. Um, Link Fangirl, what's up? Hyrule Bling, that's right. Zelda Bling. I think I'm just going to wear this like every time I stream from now on because I just love it so much. We've got, Jesus, there's so much customization in this game. Are you kidding me? So here's the controls. We swap weapons with R1, that's interesting. Oh, they still have the stupid shake the flashlight thing. Can I turn that off? That's a thing that I don't want, <laughs> actually. Flashlight. 
shake flashlight. Turn this off. It's a stupid mechanic. It's locked. I can't change it from here. I wonder where we change that. All the camera inversions off. That's good. You can change the hell out of the HUD, apparently. It's really awesome that all this stuff is in here. I think most of this stuff is stuff that I don't even know if I would want to change or not, you know? That's stuff I'll figure out as I play through. Spoiler, I barely know her. Hey! <laughs> Am I starting on Grounded? Fuck no, I'm not. I Actually, I think I'm going to play this on Normal. Because I want to enjoy it my first time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want it to be a very story-oriented playthrough. I don't want to have to, like, struggle a lot, you know? Just with this game in particular, it's it's so story-heavy, you know? Okay. Let me just look in accessibility real quick. I want to see if alternate controls... Oh, this is a good one. Uh, we're going to change that to hold melee combos... Melee combos I'll keep at tap, I think. Sprinting, crafting. Uh -huh. Even more guitar strumming input, spoilers. Shit, guys, this is insane. This is truly insane. All right. Maybe I'll look through this later and try and figure out a way to turn off the flashlight thing. But for now, let's jump in here. New game. We've got very light, light, moderate, hard, and survivor. I'm thinking moderate, guys. This provides a balanced... I, I can talk. This provides a balanced experience and resources are still limited. So that sounds pretty good to me. On hard mode, this is for people looking for a greater challenge. Resources are very limited and enemies are more dangerous. I, I think that's for another day. Let's go with moderate. Don't invert shit. Just start the game. Challenge level can be changed at any time in difficulty. Okay, good to know. Guitar Hero mini game. <laughs> Jeremy Ryan, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming out. How are you doing today? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Jeremy Ryan streams as well. You guys should check him out and give him a follow. I believe he streams Call of Duty. Probably the kind of thing where we're going to have like a really long initial load and then hopefully no actual loading in the game. Also, just so you guys know, I got about three hours of sleep last night. Now, I want to play this game for a good long time tonight, but I don't know how long I'm going to last. <laughs> and I'll probably be streaming it like all weekend, too. So if we don't get super far tonight, you know, don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow for sure. supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. If you go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. They look different because it looks better. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the fireflies. The 
because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> what do you do? I saved her. I killed them all, and I'd do it again. <laughs> um, no, I didn't get my sound system exactly right. I've got it kind of jerry-rigged in a way that it, it should work well enough, but it's not exactly the way I want it yet. I'm still experimenting with things. Come on, baby girl. I got you. You guys can hear the game and everything, right? Sound is good. Some heavy shit, man. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. <laughs> Still leaving it ambiguous, those bastards. We should head back. That's okay, Jay Bridge. You know, you can lurk or not lurk as you please. Guys, there's a really weird uncanny valley effect going on where, like, it looks like them, but the graphics are so much better than they were before that it also doesn't look like them in a weird way. And we're back in control of Joel. Yes. Yes. All right, let's start looking for collectibles. <laughs> There's got to be all kinds of shit out here, right? Tommy will wait for us. You guys know me. I do not rush through video games. I just want to see every inch of this game. Look at this foliage. Look at those trees. Look at those fucking leaves. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god. I'm trying to see if I can get off the horse right now. Seems all I can do is move and zoom in. Austin Avenue? in Parker Avenue. Okay. Maybe it's too early for collectibles. Especially if I can't get off the horse. won the gallop. Man, it's nice to have Comet back. I was really scared for him when he got shot in the first game, but it uh, turns out he made a full recovery. So that's awesome.
guys, this is like one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. I can't wait for the PS5 remaster because it's going to look even more amazing in about two years when that comes out. There's Jackson. Oh, man. Never know when a dead crow will drop a grenade. <laughs> That would be a, a hell of a reference. I'd be all up for that. Let's see what this... Oh, I have to jump myself this time. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. Comet, jump up there. You can make it. I know you can. Okay. I'm surprised there's not more ambient dialogue between Joel and Tommy right now. I guess they just want this to be a reflective moment. Soak in the world that they built here. What does that say? Oh. IS and Sons Electric something? Okay. No more gas. Still flying high. I'm kind of amazed at how well this is running right now, too. Frame rate seems very stable. Reflections in the puddles. I've heard that this game turns your PS4 into a jumbo jet engine taken off. So I hope that doesn't bleed through the mic. I'm not really hearing it yet, but yeah. <clears throat> Stop. Identify yourself before approaching the gates. Identify myself. Everybody knows who I am. Where did I get this guitar from? I'm really curious about how long it's been since the end of the first game at this point. Because it seems pretty damn soon after that ending. Right now. Do I plan to be an early adopter of PS5? Almost certainly, yeah. I'm not one of those dudes that waits for, it to, you know, to buy a console. I like having the new stuff right away, if I can afford it, you know? And after that games event where they just showed a lot of amazing games, like, I'm excited for it. Come on. It's okay. I got them. You go on. You sure? About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. What a bro. I'll see you later. <laughs> I've always liked Tommy, you know? That's a thumbnail shot right there. <laughs> 
directed by Neil Druckmann. So she keeps her bite marks wrapped. Is that so you prevent other people from seeing them? Ellie? She's got the toy that she was going to give to Sam. She kept it. Jesus. This gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are... You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. The fuck did she get a lava lamp from? Good. <laughs> Tommy and I went out riding the other day and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh shoot, no, I forgot it. Uh, this is about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um... I, w I want to show you something. Just give me one second. <laughs> this is so cool. Ah! What's this? Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. <laughs> I won't laugh. I won't. She's still sad, Ellie, from the end of the first game. I'm dressed in you. Oh, shit. Use L to choose a chord. What? Now I'm using the touchpad to strum. I don't know shit about actually playing the guitar, by the way. So. He's not bad. did it well that didn't suck <laughs> I'll take what I can get it's 
She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. Teach her how to swim first. It's more important. You did. So what do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Did... Do you remember the joke? Um. <laughs> what is the downside to eating a clock? <sighs> it's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> Wasn't that in Left Behind? Wasn't that one of the jokes she did with Riley? Good night, kiddo. I don't know, but it's just so awesome to, like, see these characters again. And by the way, guys, you know what I thought of? At some point in this game, I don't know when, but at some point, she's going to find out that Joel killed Marlene. And she's going to be upset. That's going to be a thing. Four years later. I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. <laughs> you kissed Dina? Oh. I thought this was... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? Oh, shit. No, she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't, I would never, oh, fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. <laughs> I don't care. Get dressed. You're the worst. That's kind of fucked up you did that. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but I like him. I like him already. Hmm. Smells fine. Oh, wow. Ugh. So tired. Okay, so here's a PlayStation 3. Apparently, uh, PS3 came out before the apocalypse. She's got some anime DVDs. She's got the Jack and Daxter collection. Awesome. Two controllers. Wow, she's all set. Look at that. They still have video games in the apocalypse. That's the best news I've ever heard. Beatrix Waters. Got some pictures, some drawings. Very cool. Very cool. Summer clothes. Oh, there's more stuff up there. It's hard to read, though. Overland Saga, Gone Planet. <laughs> huh. I just have to examine like every single detail in here. Blazing Bliss, The Sound of Ecstasy. Look at this, man. Ellie's got like her own bathroom in here. She's got a little kitchen set up. She's living large. All kinds of food, dried goods. Thoughts 20. Is it the end, my friend? Little spaceman. Oh, Savage Starlight poster. Perfect. A gun, because, you know, she's still Ellie. <laughs> There's Sam's toy. Man, 
That's so cool that she still has it. Little memento of him. Oh, man. This is awesome. I'm glad Jack and Dexter survived the apocalypse. Me too, man. Me too. The beginning of The Last of Us 1 was set in 2013, so it makes sense that there be a PS3. Yeah, you're right. Actually, that's a good call. That is uh, quite logical. Does that say Teen Titans? Mm, no, something of the Titans. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, it's if it's the apocalypse, I'm not going to say no to any video games. PS3 probably wouldn't be my first choice, but I'll take it. It's a big fucking tub, man. It's a bigger tub than I got. <laughs> I'm jealous. Could be worse. Ambient dialogue. Cool. There's a book right there called Pioneers of Science. So she's learning things. Getting a decent education. So if this is four years after the first game, that would make her 18 right now, I believe. And then we got our mom's switchblade right here. Hey, is Joel up? Never leave home without it. That sucks. Yeah. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. I was. You got everything? Yes. Awesome. We're gonna get to explore. All right. Well, there were some crows right there, but I don't have anything to shoot them with yet. I don't think. Don't seem able to equip my gun, so. That looks like exactly the kind of pipe that we could just break off and use as a melee weapon. I'm already thinking about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. Oh yeah? <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. Oh. Have a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry, I missed. Did Ellie get mad at Joel for interfering? Or what? What's up, peeps? What are you guys up to? <clears throat> Just, uh, hanging out here, staring at each other all weirdly. That's cool. I do that a lot, too. safe out there we always are you know all things told guys this doesn't seem like such a bad setup for you know being a whole post-apocalyptic scenario seems like they're doing pretty well for themselves here maria wants a word with you where is she the diner Seth. No clue. To carry her out of there. Just tell her you Could never saw me. About this nope. <laughs> Who's your fucking loyalty? Like Excuse me. When they're teenagers, it's a whole different. <laughs> he just says nope. 
So Maria is Tommy's wife? Presumably. I mean, it's the same Maria from the first game. And she kind of runs things around here. Hey. <laughs> Maybe three in all, one adult. Salt. Big bag of salt, guys. That's a that's about how much salt I had when I was playing grounded mode. Probably could have filled that bag up. Wonder if he'll say anything if I just stand here and don't open the door. No, he's just going to stand there looking all cool. All right. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. It's just, I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. Promise. I'll take your word Thanks. for it. Jesse. Snowball fight! Get him! Get him! Right in the back. Oh, doggy? Doggy! Hey, old timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. Yeah. Is that a... Is that an Australian cattle dog? Man, I've heard that those dogs are amazing, but they require a lot of work, a lot of exercise. Dude, look how populated this place is. There's actually a lot of people here. Only the best games let you pet the dogs. I agree. Hey, Ellie. What? Looking around. RJ and Sons Butchers. Gas for imports? Oh, hi. The Winter Dance, 7 to 11 at the church. Okay. Shit, that smells good. Ever since we lost Sydney, everyone wants to help all the Guys, there's so much ambient dialogue. I don't know how much of it you guys can hear. Trades, repairs. The blacksmith, this is what I want. Pimp out my pistol. Make it awesome. Ooh, ooh, oh my god. Free parts? Hell yeah! I didn't expect to actually find anything there, but that's kind of awesome. Give me more stuff. I want all the stuff. Let's move. Tipsy Bison. It's a pretty cool name. Have you guys ever had a bison steak? Because I have. And I'm here to tell you, it was life-changing. Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. I wonder how many of these people Ellie actually knows. Excuse me. Ellie. Excuse there me. There you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. I ate a really big lunch so I wouldn't have to eat during the stream. Hey. <laughs> Last night, I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. 
Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I, uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Or steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. <laughs> Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Ellie holds grudges. I respect that. I do as well. What is this? The Keen Twins? Finders Keepers. Okay. Ophelia and Xander. Brains 80, Brawn 80, Affiliation None. Born in a Spark Laboratory, the Keen Twins were considered a failed experiment in heightening human senses. They were abandoned on the doorstep of an orphanage, but the forlorn pair soon learned of their abilities. Born deaf, Ophelia not only has amazing eyesight, but can see things on the infrared and x-ray spectrum. Born blind, Xander can hear for miles. No footstep is too quiet, no secret is safe. So long as they are together, they make for formidable opponents. That's cool, but like, what is this? <laughs> Okay, I'll just take that with me. Sounds good. What you reading there, bro? Good book. It's very engrossed in it. That dude's had a little too many already. It's very early in the morning. Wonder if we have AA meetings here. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, you're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Hey, Ellie. Donna, what's up? Happy Friday. Thank you for coming out. You know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take. Well, that's all that. House breaking Rufus. <laughs> it's a weird name. Oh, guys, it's like an old timey movie theater kiosk. Oh, that's so. That's so cool. Did you guys know that? I, actually, I don't know this for a fact, but I think that this is where the term box office comes from. Like, uh, it's one of those things I never really thought about until recently. Why, you know, the, the movie industry is called the box office. Like, it's just a thing. You, you've always heard it and you never question it, right? I think it comes from those little ticket booth type things at movie theaters. I think that is the box office. Oh, they got a daycare and a giraffe. They got a giraffe, guys, right here in the middle of town. So you know it's a great place. Nothing bad ever happens here. Total innocence. Town info. Monday's a town meeting, then garden management, then line dance lessons, then a leadership meeting, and then bingo night. Oh, shit. Hey, where did everybody go? Bingo? <gasps> More parts. And I just saw a rat. Dude, she does the exact same animation that Joel made in the first game when he picks stuff up, where she, like, crouches down and, like, reaches out like fucking Gollum, like, snatching stuff, you know? Ugh. Our little daycare. Can I go inside any of these buildings? It seems not. Okay. So, 
Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, uh, Dina. I wanted Simon. to read that board. Just give me a minute. Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm tapping out. Come on, how long? Whew. It's a cool hip pouch. Hey, hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just I felt bad. Why? Because I started the whole thing, and I just, sh I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think... No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. <laughs> all right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. It's a hip ulcer, not what a hip pouch. Fuck? What? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> You want to fuck him up? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Yes. You yes. Asked for it. You better run, you little shits. Holy shit. I got my knife. Go, go. Oh, we got to use snowballs? Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um. Little, uh, little uh, training session here. Eat that. Oh, damn. They're accurate. Where you live, Alex. Okay. Don't tell your mom. All right. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, you like that? I see you. Oh, gotcha again, oh, right in the face. It. Boom. Eat snow, you little shit. Oh, shit. I'm out of, I'm out of juice. Oh, you better hide. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a kid there. Donna, gifting tier subs again. Thank you for the tier one gift subs. Thank you so much. Your parents don't love you. <laughs> Your parents don't love you, she said. Oh, God, that kid just I fucked me you. up. Get him. Yeah. In your face. Gotcha. So I got to be within range to get a, uh, a walk on. Ow, damn it. Gotcha, idiot. Jesus. They're really accurate. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on. No, no, no. If you were not a child, I would pelt you in the face. Damn it. Okay. Come on. Ah. Oh, he's 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 exposed. Got him. No fair. What do you mean no fair? Hey, how's it feel? No, get her! Help me! You'll never get away with this. Get off of her, you monsters! Help me! All right, all right. We actually have some work to do. Oh man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. That was fun. Let's go. That was fun. Kind of janky with, uh... It wouldn't let me, like, manually aim. Just had to rely on the auto-aim, but you had to be within a certain range to do that. Donna, thank you so much for those, uh, those three gift subs. You are amazing, and I appreciate you. So, Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh. That's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this room. Wasn't sure if I could get back over this fence here. Actually, let me see if it'll let me jump it. Ah, 
it doesn't let me jump the fence. Okay, fair enough. Morning, girls. Morning. Dude's very yellow. <laughs> hey, ladies. I'll bring him in. Thank you. This place is cool. There's just so many people here. I honestly don't think I'd mind living in a place like this. As long as I could still play video games. Which, as we know, we can. What if I spooked this horse right now and he just kicked that guy in the face? That'd be a dick move. Teton County, Joel and Tommy? These are assignments? Assignments for what? Always stay inside of your partner. Do not engage unless engaged upon. Do not venture beyond mapped areas. Do not stay out past sunset. So these are just patrols, I guess. Security, basically. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. Shimmer. It's an okay name. Oh, look who decided to join us. And a good yeah, fuel yeah, song. Yeah. One for you. Oh, yeah. And one for you. Wonder if Dina's any good at fighting. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going. Going on patrol. You would think that anybody who's still alive at this point should have, like, at least some skill in fighting, but... You know, I don't know anything about Dina. If she was born here... ...and grew up here, maybe she's never really had to fight. Who are all these people? Hey. Hey. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. <coughs> it 
it is crazy to think about how much video games have advanced over the years. Like, even comparing this to the the PS4 remastered version of the first game. Come on. This way. I mean, this blows it away. Although some people think that we are starting to reach a point of diminishing returns on hardware acceleration. Oh, it's cold. Are you sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. So now I'm playing as this woman. I have no idea who she is. Like, what's going on right now? He's going that way, so I'm going this way. <laughs> it's the Zelda theory of gameplay, guys. Go the opposite direction of where they want you to go. And you will find joy. But there's nothing over here. Fair enough. So here's the real test. How realistic is the snow? It seems pretty realistic right now. Although I will say, from what I remember, I think the snow in God of War was a little bit better. In terms of the way it got kicked around when you walked through it. This is really good too. But I remember being like really blown away by the snow in God of War. Maybe it's just my perception that has changed. Who knows? Have I ever played VR games? No, I've never had the pleasure. Uh, unless you count the virtual boy. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? Which you shouldn't. Been restless. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. Okay, that was cool. Going? Just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. Did you guys notice that? I bumped into these tree limbs and the snow fell off of it. That was so unexpected and awesome. Little details like that are what makes Naughty Dog one of the best in the business, you know? Like, honestly, it doesn't even really look that realistic, but it's still so fucking cool. Like, this is the kind of stuff we're doing with game engines now. You know what I mean? Like, the way it falls off doesn't look super realistic, but, like, it, I don't even care. I think that's impressive. That's the kind of stuff that's going to keep getting better and better, I think. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> I just want to knock all the snow off all the trees. That's what this game is to me. It's a snow simulator. Oh, there he is. All right, you take the low ground, I'll take the high ground. You did all this in the dark? Yes. Now come on. I probably should have been paying some more attention to the dialogue they were saying earlier when I was marveling at the snow on the trees. He said something about a guy named Manny. I don't know who that is. Or what we're doing out here. We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird, you're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Seriously, I can't get enough of this. Like, I don't, I don't know, am I weird? To me, this is just, this is so impressive. Careful jumping over these. Huh? Oh.
There should be an achievement for knocking all the snow off all the trees in the game. Or a trophy, rather. If there was, I'd be the first person to get it. High ground. Yeah. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. Okay. I had to see if it would let me walk off here. And it's not. The invisible wall is stopping me. Hidden trophy hunting already. That's right. It's what I bring to the table. Dude, I think uh, that snow right. landed on top of my head. If you can do it, I can do it. Is the snow melting realistically? Oh my god, it is. Look, it's like slowly vanishing from my coat. Wow. And yeah, it, it falls off the tree and lands on me. Are you fucking kidding me? So cool. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. She afraid of heights. Hey, eyes on me. Abby, stop looking down. Okay, so I'm Abby. Owen, do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Oh! Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. It's weird that I have to push X to squeeze through a crack now. In every other game I've ever played, that's just automatic, really, you know? But in this game, it doesn't do it unless you actually press the button. Huh. Not a problem, by any stretch, it's just a weird observation. Does it? You see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there. How do we get to him? Well, we can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. <laughs> well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, Phil. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't. It's 
see you back at the lodge. So what are they trying to do? very confused right now about what their intentions are. I don't give a fuck. I'll do the whole thing on my own. I don't give a fuck. I kind of like Abby. I like her attitude. So, should I be heading towards the town? Down this way? Or what? I don't know what Abby's goal is, so I don't know, like, <laughs> where to focus my efforts. I guess I can't really get down from here, though. Fair enough. Feels like there's going to be more platforming in this game than there was in the first one, which I'm okay with. Can't jump up there, though. Damn. So here's a question with the kind of it's just a short hike. Okay, with the kind of infected that are in this game, I wonder if they're susceptible to cold weather. Because they're not really traditional zombies, you know? You think about traditional zombies. Zombies are reanimated dead people, right? But not actually alive. So they have no body heat. Hold to go prone. Okay. Well, this is different. We can go full prone. It's kind of cool. That'll come in handy. Um... So, like, yeah, in the event of a real zombie apocalypse, you would want to go to a cold place, right? He got me pregnant. If you live in a place where the average temperature is below freezing, you don't really have to worry about zombies because they would just freeze. They can't come get you. But with the infected in this world, I guess they probably still have body heat, right? Because they don't actually die for real, they just get they get the cordyceps in the brain. So they can probably still come get you, even though it's cold. You alive? I don't think that dude's alive. But I've been wrong before. Did you guys hear that? It was very low volume, but I just heard the distinct sound of an infected person screeching. That's a lot of them. Fuck. Ah, that's creepy as shit. Don't like it. Okay, sorry about that. Nothing personal. 
So guys, I'm not going to give you any specifics, but um, I, I, I've heard like one or two things about this game. Not huge spoilers or anything, and I'm not going to say it anyway. But I am going to say that there is apparently some very, very disturbing stuff in this game. Very brutal things that happen. I mean, think about how dark the first game was. Oh, no! oh shit! Shoot him. Shoot him. We gotta shoot him! That one dodge. And then melee. Whoa, okay. So Abby's a badass. <laughs> um, um. Okay. Dodge? Melee. Oh. No. Timing. Fuck. Timing. Wow. Okay. So dodging's a thing in this game. I didn't know that either. Pretty dope, though. I like that, actually. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, though, um, so, like, there's, you know, imagine how dark the first game got. You don't have to imagine. You, you should know if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> and apparently this game is, like, way worse than the first game in terms of that stuff. Just really brutal violence, really disturbing shit that happens. Uh, so just be prepared for that. If you have, a, like, a weak stomach or a weak constitution in general and just don't like that stuff, you might not like this game. Okay. Time! Here. Okay, now we got two of them. Timing! Timing! Yeah! This is good practice. I'm gonna need these skills to conserve my ammo. My shoulder. Equip the health kit and hold R2 to heal. Pretty familiar. Although that seemed like a bit of a waste, if I can be honest. But whatever. We're very early in the game. I'm sure they'll take care of me. Damn, Abby can sprint, too. Well, she gets going. Dude, what if they pulled some, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 shit and made you think you were going to play as Ellie for the whole game in the marketing, and then you actually just started playing as Abby for the whole game? I can't tell if that would be hilarious or infuriating. Could go either way. It's so nice to have a HUD again. I kind of forgot how awesome it is being able to see exactly how many guns, or uh, how many bullets my gun can hold. It's a real game changer. <laughs> Ellie's your girl, so you'd be pretty upset. Yeah, I mean, I imagine she'd still be in the game, you just wouldn't be playing as her. That's how it went with Metal Gear Solid 2, you know? but I could definitely see people getting upset about it, for sure. This is a bad idea, Abby. Okay, I can shoot from prone as well. What the fuck? 
Did you guys know that prone is the most stable shooting position? You should actually be the most accurate from this. It's going for a headshot there, but as long as it died in one shot, that's fine too. I don't know, but let's go back inside. Could be stuff inside. Hey, look at that. Hell yeah, I want to make it. Why don't I take this snowboard right here? Save a lot of time that way. One more bullet. And look, guys, it's the Mallards. They're still <laughs> in every house we're going to go in. Love it. Okay. To anyone who reads this, my name is Seth. I'm from San Francisco trying to get to Jackson with my two sons. We lost our car, our compass, our guns. We were raided outside of Reno. My wife and my eldest were killed. I've been trying to follow maps, but the snow makes it impossible to hold onto the road for very long. Was hoping to wait out these storms, but my boys are starving. I haven't seen so much as a squirrel in a week. I can't sit here and watch them waste away. We're going to head out west-northwest, I presume. I heard what sounded like gunshots over there across the ridge. Hopefully we'll find people. Hopefully they'll be kind. Please, if you read this, come find us. I think it's Wednesday. God bless you. How many Wednesdays ago was that? Sorry, Seth. Don't think I can do much for you, buddy. Does it? Does it really, though? What's going on under here? Oh, bullshit, I can't crawl under there. Are you kidding me? That looks like a place I should be able to go. Really? Hold on, I gotta try this one more time. Because that's clearly set up to be a place to crawl under. But I can't get there from here. Okay. Well, invisible walls. Even the best games have them, apparently. Oh, and I have my listen mode back. Oh my god. Okay, stay crouched to sneak up on enemies and grab them. in mode, although it's not quite as sharp as it was in the first game, from what I remember anyway. Oh, I thought I was just going to choke her out, but I actually snapped her neck. You didn't love Raiden, he's cool, but not as cool as Snake, I agree. 100%. I think it, I think pretty much everybody felt that way. <laughs> for a second, I thought that was a rifle. Just for a brief second, I was like, <gasps> rifle. Got all excited. And now I have blue balls. Thanks a lot. Uh, 
Okay. Can't help but notice that we have a spot on here for a brick, but I haven't found any bricks yet. They better not have nerfed my favorite weapon, the brick. Oh shit. Okay, all right. That's brutal. So brutal. Uh-huh. He just came out to be like, quit making all that noise. Dude, is that his breath? Can I see his breath coming around that corner there? Or was that just some other air blast? Standing right here. Oh no, it's just air. Okay. Man, that would be a cool touch if you could actually see the enemy's breath when it's cold. Just air. Gotcha. I got excited for a second. ducks oh look at this we got a whole upstairs area should probably be careful there's probably another dude up here or this is where I came from I'm an idiot all right I guess we're good in here Unless I can open any of these. Oh, there's health, but I'm full. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fuck, I'm so lost. I I can hear one. I just don't know where it is. How the hell do I get to that spot under the house? Hmm. Oh, okay. Which way are you gonna turn, buddy? Okay. Please don't turn, please don't turn. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look back here right quick. like nothing. It's a mean look on her face when she's doing that, too. Okay, we're going to wait for them to break up.
because that's a recipe for getting spotted right there. Except they're both hanging in that area. Come on, get back over here. That was just mean. Fuck you. I'm full? Wow. Okay. Well, I guess I can afford to spend a couple bullets in if I have to. I can only carry 16 pistol rounds? Man. I know I've got more pockets than that. That's bullshit. <laughs> Now, it's interesting that it seems that this is the last enemy in this area, but she still did a stealthy kill. She didn't just... Getting bad. Where's the road? Yeah, she didn't just throw it down and uh, stomp its face, Joel style. not do that just yet. It's in the back of this truck. Just a bunch of snow. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. the zombies look like they're huddling against the cold. I feel like they always kind of had that posture. They had it in the first game, too, where they're just kind of hunched over, like, good. I think it's probably just a coincidence that it's so cold. Come on. This way. Right behind you. <laughs> I should have spent all my bullets as Abby. That way she wouldn't have any when she finds you Ellie. Being with him? Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because there isn't much to talk about. Ow. I just, I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Oh, that's so big of you. <laughs> and I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> If you're going to hit on me, you could just come out and say it. You don't have to be so coy. Alright, Comet. Ride like the wind. Show Dina the meaning of haste. You can tie Shimmer up here. Shimmer? Who's that? want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. Oh, oh, it's like that, huh? Okay. 
Dina thinks awfully highly of herself. In her face. Uh -huh, I was gonna say, there's gotta be something in here. Oh, Billy. Yes. So, oh, I can't see, like, how much ammo I have right now. Oh, boy. So, here's our artifacts menu. Our pill menu for improving our cells. Um, listen mode, movement speed. Move faster in listen mode. Hold our one to sense your enemies through walls. Okay, so we can do it while we're moving. Interesting. Increases the speed of using a health kit. Increased health. Listen mode, movement speed two. But what about one that actually improves the actual listen? Endure, otherwise lethal damage. Will instead leave you at low health, giving you an opportunity to escape. That seems useful. And then this appears to be our crafting menu. Looks like it's pretty much the same stuff as the first game, except there's also bottles in there now, too. Huh. Okay. Still takes alcohol and rags to make a med kit, just like in the first game. Hey, it's this way. I wonder if those bottles are used for making, like, uh, like bombs. Or Molotovs. Wonder if we have to have those components now. Hmm. Alright, we'll talk to her in a second. I'm really hoping that those dialogue options don't just go away if you wait too long. But I want to be able to look around before I commit to that, because it might take me out of this area, you know? Okay. What do you think of this view, huh? Can't deny that view. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. <coughs> Where are we sign in? Come on. Fuck. <laughs> she still got her sailor's mouth. This is like the exact same angle and view that we had in the first game. Looking at the giraffes with Ellie. I will say, so far, Ellie seems like perpetually unhappy in this game. I don't know if it's just because of, you know, the previous night where she had like a really bad experience in a couple ways. So maybe that just put her in a bad mood, but I don't know if she really likes living here. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Eugene. Right. Oh, Eugene. Man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp at 73. May we all make it to 73. <laughs> I was going to say. So he was about... He was in his late 40s when the apocalypse started, and he still lived to be 73. That dude must be a badass. Or just like the luckiest guy in the world. One of those two things. Oh, man. All the good stuff is long gone. Sign us in. Oh. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. Okay, where do we sign in at? I don't know, but let's go in this door first. Is that what I think it is? 
Am I about to sit down and get high? <laughs> That's unexpected. Okay, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I'll definitely take all these parts. Okay, let's let's see what this does. Hey, I'm gonna guess this bong was your jeans. Huh? That's mine. He gave it to me. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? Oh, I wish. Eugene always had some on him. No, it's just an inspection thing. Dude, for a second, I really thought Ellie was about to sit down and toke up. I'm a little disappointed. Not gonna lie. Although I guess it wouldn't be a good idea to get stoned out of your mind when you're on patrol, right? She's just trying to be responsible. October 2013. So that's... Okay, so we knew it was 2013, but now we know it was October when the outbreak happened. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, is this the sign-in log? Okay, going back to 12-8. Dina and Eugene, all clear. Uh, found a wild horse stuck in the ice. Got it out, taking it back to camp, skipping the next lookout. You found a wild horse stuck in ice and it was still alive and you took it back? Wow. One clicker in the basement of 2358 Mountain View cleared it. Says A, whoever A is. Um, Greg and Bonnie, dead goat by Sunny Day's retirement. Found three runners inside, cleared them. One runner along the main road, cleared it. All clear. Snow's pretty rough. Gonna camp here tonight. All clear. And then killed three runners outside the suburbs. All else clear. Found a dead deer just outside the tower. Looks chewed up, but no infected. All clear. Bad rainstorm. River ahead flooded. Camping here tonight, then backtracking in the morning. All clear. Saw footprints. Followed them to a small encampment. Two adults and one child in need of medical attention. We'll be skipping the next lookout and taking them straight to town. D. And then comes in Tommy and Joel with the all clear... Uh, two clickers by the gas station, cleared them, otherwise clear. All right. Sounds very methodical. And there. Come here. Sup? Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Hmm, yes. Certainly appears to be a town. Let's see a strip mall? Oh, with the supermarket? No, town's past that. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Nice. Gotta imagine there's at least one other thing to observe in here. Ah, uh, there's a ski lodge. Uh -huh. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. Nice. So maybe we'll run into them. I would enjoy that. Hmm. Okay. Let's get back to the horses. One thing I did here, guys, and I, I don't consider this a spoiler. I hope that you won't either. I don't. I really don't think it is. But I did read a tweet from somebody saying that um, your first playthrough through this game, you're not going to get a ton of trophies because the game is specifically designed that way. Like, it's just, I don't know why I don't know the details, but apparently you got to play the game multiple times to get a lot of the trophies. Question. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? They're clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. 
still look nice. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, Ellie's always thought that stuff was stupid. Dude, you see that look on her face? She did like a little sneer thing. Uh, that was cool. Uh. Oof, big drop. Dina, you coming? There she is. And off we go. Whoa. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? <laughs> no, from old age. Like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? You let me guess. You're gonna kill me? Was that some really <laughs> ominous foreshadowing? Your punchline? No. Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> No, I don't buy it. That wasn't just a joke. That was foreshadowing. That's exactly the kind of thing Naughty Dog would do. We're gonna kill Dina. God damn it. I freaking know it already, guys. She's going that way. I wonder if I can go this way. A lot of spots like that I've noticed. Like so far the game's been very linear, like really only one way to go, but they like to give you two different paths to get there for some reason. But will she be infected first? Uh, maybe. I didn't even really consider that. That would probably make a lot more sense. Can I get off the horse right now, I wonder? I don't think so. Check these houses out. Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Oh, <laughs> asking you shall receive, guys. I was going to say, if this is a regular patrol route, then a lot of this stuff should have been cleared out a long time ago, right? What do you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. Good to know. These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. You think people really traveled a lot in these things? Well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. <laughs> Keep dreaming. That's actually a really good question. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these, like, giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. Have they ever discussed the state of the world outside of the United States? In this universe? What are you doing tonight? Uh... You, baby. I was... Thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh. You guys good? Yeah. Okay, that was awkward. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. <laughs> oh no. I actually really like them too. What about you? What are you doing later? 
Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You wanna meet up after? Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. <gasps> bow chicka bow wow. That's What's how it starts. Curtis and Viper 2 about? Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja. And he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, ten. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Dude, there's a CD right there. I think anybody out there is still making movies. I'm gonna pick it up. It has to be. How do you know? What if they're all just like us? Just surviving day to day. Well, I write new music, so... Someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. <laughs> there are original Ellie songs? Why haven't you played any for me? <clears throat> well, I, I... I don't know. Come on, will you play one for me tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. <laughs> Who could possibly still be making movies? But yeah, isn't that a messed up thing to think about? What if, like... Dude, what if, like, China figured out a virus or figured out a vaccine or something and is, like, completely normal? Like, they beat the infection. Everything's normal over there. They're just living their lives. But they know that America is completely fucked, and they just don't do anything about it. They're like, well, the United States is just overrun. Everybody there is just killing each other. Like, fuck it. We're, we're not touching that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> and we're just over here living this way. If we could just find a boat or something, you know, <laughs> we could go back to, like, having, like, real civilization. Wouldn't that be messed up? There's got to be some places in the world that are still somewhat normal, right? Like, there has to be. Oh, so one of these cards. So this must be a type of collectible. Ooh, I don't have this one. Tesseractor. One of those superhero cards you're all into? Oh yeah. Is this like D and D stuff? They've got stats and everything. Society of Champions. Appearing one day from out of the blue, no one knows where or when this mysterious transdimensional being came from. Uh, their ability to move in and around four-dimensional space at will has turned the tide in many battles, though using this power leaves them as weak and vulnerable as a newborn. Claiming to have no name, they were bestowed the nickname Tesseractor by the Society of Champions. However, some suspect Tesseractor is keeping their true, undiscovered identity a secret. Neutral. Oh yeah, they've got like... Look, they've got like moral affiliations and everything. That's a fun new collectible. I guess it's kind of similar to the Savage Starlight comics from the first game. <laughs> it's a long fall, man. I know that there's snow there to, like, kind of break the fall for you, but even so. You used to have Marvel cards like that? Nice. I think I probably had some stuff like that, too, when I was much younger. I can't really remember specifics, though. Alright, let's see. Can we get up here? Oh. Nope, that's slippery. I can use my guns now, though. Let's make sure they're loaded. Yep. Okay. Damn, this whole structure is just... 
walled off by a big wall of ice and snow. Okay. All right, I get it. So is that it for the explorable houses? Because it looks like there's a place up there, too. Where are they supposed to be geographically? Yes, they are in Jackson, but I, um, I don't think it's Jackson, Mississippi. I think it's Jackson, Wyoming, actually. That's the same place I was in, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I guess... I guess we've explored everywhere. Yeah, especially with the snow. That's true. Yep, it does make more sense. Take to bring down a moose. More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find him. Uh, okay. I'm with you. Let's do it. R1 to quickly swap weapons? Oh, wow. That's a nice touch. I have to try and remember that. I hear clickers. I hear them. Fucking hear him. They're close. Shit. I hear some inside. How the fuck did they get in there? More importantly, how do we get in there? Probably that broken window I saw back there. I see a bunch of different tracks. What do you think? Divide and conquer? One at a time. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's do this. It feels a little weird. Oh, look, it's the Aqua Lime brand. Look, they brought back the Aqua Lime brand with the orange background that weirds me out. <laughs> That's awesome. Consistency, guys. Um, yeah, it feels a little weird to be seeking out a fight, but we are on patrol. We're protecting the place we live, so this actually makes sense. That we would... That we would do this. Jeez. Right in the throat. It's down. That's one. Divide and conquer, right? Let's see if we can get around to the back of the supermarket. Good idea. So, obviously, like, you know, in the first game, we had to have shivs in order to do quick stealth kills on runners like that. Now it seems like we don't have to worry about shivs, but also killing them with Ellie's knife isn't as fast as killing them with a shiv was. Locked? Fuck you. Locked doors can usually be opened from the other side. Okay. Staying quiet won't help. That's ominous. <laughs> Is this the new version of the shiv door? Instead of using a shiv to open it, you gotta find another way in. Interesting how there's individual pills, too. Let's see what we can do. Um, we've got 16. Which is really not enough to do shit. 
So, never mind about that. Dude, where's my brick? I haven't found a single brick yet. I'm starting to get a little pissed about it. Okay. Oh, there it is. R2 quick throw. Strike. That was weird. She didn't actually throw it. Did she? You good? Yeah. Nice throw, by the way. Thanks. Okay, I don't know. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah. It's a good question. I don't know if that was a glitch or what happened there. Taken down on patrol. It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. There was a group passing through. Okay. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. Yeah, but if you're always killing all these infected on the patrol, then wouldn't there be a lot of corpses strewn around here? I gotcha, game. I gotcha. You thought she was going to stab her with the bottle? That'd be cool. That'd be really cool if you could actually do that. Maybe it gives you room to fuck up because it was the first oh. tutorial on throwing bottles. Maybe. I mean, I definitely hit R2, but maybe I hit it too late. Okay, well, let's follow the blood trail, because, you know. Dina, this way. Okay. Let's keep it quiet. Shit. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's get the one that's moving first. Yeah, Dina helping out. That's what I like to see. That's exactly what I like to see. Keep that up. And uh, full on bullets. Alright. Normal mode. It's fine. It's fine. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that dodge is clutch. Wow. That almost makes it too easy. Is that all of them? Yeah. Looks like it. We've still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's got to be a way in. Yes, yes. We'll get them all. We'll get them all. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at what I do. I don't know if you've noticed. <gasps> oh, let me replace the bottle. Fuck a bottle. Get out of here. That's weird that I couldn't just swap it out. Oh, help me up there. I want to look around. Coming. Uh, where are you? Okay. Finds us something good, Dina. All right, go ahead. Um, there's a hole in the roof over there. Here. Okay, you're gonna have to wait a second. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for being patient, Dina. 
Come on. I mean that sincerely, by the way. Thanks. Look, see? All right, let's figure out how to get in there. Just because, like, a lot of times in games like these, if you make an NPC wait for you to do something with them, they often make them bitch at you constantly. Uh. Ellie, over here. <clears throat> Ellie, hurry up. Ellie, what are you doing? What the fuck? With that snowfall. I hadn't touched that tree yet. What triggered that? Thought maybe we'd get lucky. Well, maybe you'll get lucky tonight. <laughs> Sex. Under here. Jesus. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't she want to doesn't see know. <laughs> Deal. Cool. They haven't told anybody. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. I was wondering about that. Yeah, so... I guess that's why she keeps her arms wrapped up. Although, it's a little weird that nobody's ever asked her why she keeps bandages on her arm all, like, all the time, you know? Maybe she just wears long sleeve shirts all the time? See any way to that roof? Would that be suspicious, too? Mm, I'm not sure. Like, even in summer? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look That's at this. I was just exploring, but I think I actually found the way up. But uh, I didn't look in here yet, did I? I actually really need a health kit right now. I don't have stuff to craft, do I? No. More pills. Yeah, what do we got here? Ma'am, I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister stopped feeling her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm sorry. Rough. That is rough. I mean, did you try asking for the insulin? <laughs> or did you just go for it? Leon! Oh, that reminds me. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but, uh... Tier 1 subscribers, you should have an Ashley emote now, if you check out your emotes. I uploaded it yesterday. Because we unlocked a new emote slot. From your, uh, very generous gift subs that people have been giving me. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy that. There it is. <laughs> I'm in. I think I'm also going to get a Leon emote once I uh, get some more slots unlocked. I don't have those made up yet. Hey, got some alcohol. But I'm going to commission some more soon. Couple of rags. Nice. Here, fix yourself up. That's what I needed. Okay. So... Looks like this basically works the same way as it did in the first game. Ah, that's better. 
spores in there. Masks on. Got it. <laughs> she even wears a mask, even though she doesn't need to. That's a uh, dedication right there. Keeping that secret. You'd think that was somebody like Dina. Where they they seem relatively close. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if she found out, but I know, like, the less people who know a thing, the the more secretive it is. It's safer that way. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. So now they're foreshadowing that a lot. It's like we're going to end up shooting each other in the face. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Older infected. I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. All right, we're starting to find crafting ingredients. And yeah, I know that I heard clickers out there earlier, so they've got to be around here somewhere. But you figure with Ellie's knife, um, <coughs> they shouldn't be too much of a threat. As long as we stay silent. Employee of the month. So, wonder if these are pictures of the developers. Oh, and a doggy. A doggy was employee of the month, guys. That's so cool. <laughs> a dog in July. Yeah, I love that. that you know just the other day guys I was reading about a dog that was in service in World War II in um, I can't remember which army now oh shit I actually have to know this maybe it's on this document right here um, I can't remember which army it was it wasn't like the United States Army or any like huge country but um he was like he was an official part of the army and he was he was known for keeping peace between the soldiers I think they were on a ship and you know like soldiers would sometimes get in like fights or arguments and the dog would literally come up and like put its paws on their shoulders to calm them down and break up fights and he did this all the time and um he was like buried with like full military honors and everything. It was it was awesome. Anyways, yo, Kristen, left the real shit in the safe for you. Combo is the date my good boy got employee of the month. Don't fucking sell those or give them away. That's for your back. All right, feel better, Nina. Nice. So that was. July 2013, right? Do I need a more specific date than that? It just says July, so that'd be 7 2013. How many digits does this require? And also, I don't know, like, Does it matter which way I go first? I don't know. Whoops, I screwed up. Okay, let's try this again. Sweet. Oh shit. 12 parts, 14 pills, and some alcohol. I can already get an upgrade. Okay, move faster while listening, or increase the speed of using a health kit. Or we can hold out for increasing our max health. 
or hold out for endure, which seems like a really strong skill. I think I might save. Uh, I think I might save up for increased health, right off the bat. It's interesting that they use this as a you know like a, a combination dial lock, but you don't actually have to move it in a logical way. You just put the numbers in. Which actually, I, I guess I would say I actually really appreciate that because trying to use dial combo locks in a game is always really annoying because you don't know like what's expected of you. As far as like, you know, left first, right first. Do you have to follow the rule of making a full circuit when you turn it? What game was it? I think it was Resident Evil 3 had one of those dial locks, but it didn't actually follow real world rules. It followed like half of them. Like you get to start off going in the right direction, but then you didn't have to make a full rotation after the first number. So like, it was just confusing. It's like, if you're gonna make me do this, like do it right, you know, <laughs> don't half ass it. I think I like the approach they seem to have taken in this game. That's a clicker. Thanks, Dina. Stealth kill clickers with your switchblade. I would love to. That's one of my favorite things to do. Let's see if I can actually pull it off. Not bad, not bad. Dude, they sound even more horrible in this game. How's that even possible? Can I get him from the front? That's my question. Yep. These blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Speak in my language. <laughs> Oh, it's not so bad. Come on. How many clickers have we killed up to this point in this universe? It's got to be in the triple digits, right? Don't get me wrong, they're still terrifying. And they somehow made them sound like even more horrible in this game. I don't know how they did that. But they really did. Give me a second, I'm wall crawling. Nothing good left in this whole place, apparently. Alright, fuck me, I guess. From the knees. <laughs> I will say, Dina seems to be able present. to uh, hold her own. Present. present? What are you talking about? Oh. Yes, please. Here. Thanks. <laughs> Molotov set fire in an area. Hold L2 to aim and R2 to arc throw. Careful with that. I'm a pro. <laughs> I'm a pro, she says. Dale, what's up, man? Sorry you're late. You said an alarm and slept right through it. <laughs> That's quite all right, man. 
Please don't ever screw up your sleep schedule just for my sake. I'm glad that you made it, though. So, so far, uh, it's four years since the end of the first game. We're palling around with this girl, Dina, who lives in the same settlement we live in, in Jackson. Um, there's a bit of a romantic subplot going on with Ellie and Dina. They kissed last night, which angered um, Dina's ex-boyfriend, who they broke up with a week ago. But he's pretty much cool with it, or he's saying he's cool with it. And, um, man, what else? We also had a run-in. We didn't see any of this, but they talked about how at this party or whatever last night, there was this guy who called Ellie a, a really terrible insult after the kiss between her and Dina. It's implied that it was kind of a homophobic thing. And uh, he apologized to us this morning, but Ellie wasn't really having it. Um, for a while, we actually switched off to these two completely different characters, uh, Abby and Owen. They know where the Jackson settlement is, but we don't know why they're looking for it yet. Um, so we played as Abby for a little bit. And, uh, then we switched back to Ellie and now we're on patrol with Ellie and Dina and we're probably going to run into... Abby at some point. That's the long and short of it. <laughs> I got some numbers here. What do you think? Get the runners first. Also, I'm playing on normal mode, and it's like after playing on grounded, it's like super easy. Like I've had to leave a lot of ammo behind. Cause I'm just not really using it, <laughs> and I can only carry so much. You're welcome. Yeah, I could switch to hard, but honestly, um, I I'm okay with the fact that this hasn't really been challenging. I want this to be more of a story-focused playthrough the first time. I'm not looking for, like, a, a crazy challenge. This game is so story-heavy, you know? I just... I want to have fun playing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, uh, we've also found out that um, Joel did tell Tommy about Ellie's condition. And, well, he already knew. Yeah, Tommy already knew from the first game. But uh, he also told Tommy about what happened at the end of the first game with the Fireflies and deciding to not let Ellie be killed for the sake of a cure. So Tommy knows about all that shit. But nobody else in the settlement seems to know that Ellie is immune. It appears that she's hiding it from everybody including her friends like Dina. Okay, Dina, get out of my face. See, it's already it's already doing that stuff with the companions where they just get in your way. Yeah, that's why she's wearing a mask. It's just to keep up the facade that she is susceptible to spores like everyone else. Shit. This thing's getting a little too close. Gotcha, bitch! Ooh. It also seems like it might be a little bit more forgiving with the stealth than it was in the first game. But again, I'm comparing my very recent experiences on grounded mode, so it's maybe it's not an equal comparison, you know? <laughs> Shit! Well, 
that sucked. I hit a triangle to do a stealth kill, and I, I don't know why it didn't work, but then I panicked <laughs> and just started stabbing it. That's my first death. I think I was moving a little too quickly when I approached it. This is an infinite knife. This is Ellie's switchblade that she had in the first game. So it seems like this game isn't even really going to make you look for shivs. I think we just have a knife the whole time. And he's still moving? Uh... Nope. You know what? I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not going to believe our numbers. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That was a generous checkpoint. Let's go to the next lookout and take a fucking break. We earned it. Agreed. They didn't even make me re-kill all the dudes that I had already killed. <laughs> the hell's the point of that? <laughs> See, this game does that a lot. I said that earlier. They just like to give you two ways into a place for no real reason. It's weird. All right, let's check out the supply situation. We've actually got a lot of stuff, guys. This is crazy. I am not used to having this much stuff. We've got 73 supplements already. So let's go ahead and um, <coughs> let's bring up the health, except I can't. Do I have to do these in order? Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. But that does seem to be the case. Fair enough. So we've got listen mode, movement speed, and faster healing. Next up, we can get max health. Okay. Wow, I didn't expect to actually be able to break that. But I just had to try, and it actually worked. That's really cool. Guys, isn't it funny? I haven't even really been using listen mode because I'm so used to playing grounded now. Like, I don't even think to use it. Rags are already full. All right, well, let's make something. Three appears to be the max, much like in the first game. <laughs> Fuck your glass. Yeah, give me stuff. I was going to try and jump up on that thing, but no. I think I'm really going to have to get in the mindset where, like, it's okay to just chew through some bullets or some Molotovs at some point. Or else I'm just going to be leaving stuff behind constantly. Like, I have the stuff, I might as well use it, you know? All right, I think it's everything. I won't budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. It's all a plan. Uh, maybe we can jump that. Nope. Do we crawl out through here? No. What, whoa, what was that? Nice. K. 
cable here. Here we go. Yeah, that should hold us. What? Whoa, what are we doing here? Get over. Fuck yeah. Huh. Okay. You wanna go first, Dina? Okay, that's good. Here I go. <sighs> cool. So I guess they added a little uh pretty windy. They added a little uncharted. I wonder if at some point we'll get rope we can just carry around and use wherever we want. Over here. Storms really picked up. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. the roof donated twenty dollars thank you for that man thank you thank you for that generous donation i really appreciate that hey how far away are we a few minutes out okay that was you dale why'd you show up as through the roof <laughs> i didn't know you could set a name like that Gotcha. We're almost there. Well, thank you, man. I know, girl. I know. Keep going. Dina, how much further? Dina? Dina! Hey, Dale, check this out. Oh, it's not working here. Really? There we go. Yeah, look at that. You can actually Dina, knock the snow off the trees. And it'll actually land on you Ellie, and then gone. melt in real time. Come on. This way. It's fucking Where cool. Are we going? Just trust me. Yeah, it's impressive. Get inside. I was like super hyped about it earlier. <laughs> It'll happen in here, but road by it. Never came inside. I definitely saw the snow like slowly evaporating earlier. Hmm. Maybe it's not working right now. Or maybe I invented that in my head. I'm I'm like ninety percent certain I saw that though. Step away to eat dinner and a blizzard rolls in. <laughs> yeah, th this game just looks amazing graphically. Um, in the very beginning, I was honestly a little weirded out because, like, design-wise, they look the same. Th so the game starts out by replaying a couple scenes from the end of the first game with the characters looking the way they did then. And, you know, design-wise, they look exactly the same, but graphically, it looks so much better that it was weirding me out. Like, they, they didn't look like them just because they look so much better. You know what I mean? Shit. I gotta see what's back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> That's awesome. What's going on here? Dude, seriously, can we just break, like, all the glass in this game? Any glass we see? Electronic stuff. This has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, nobody else would tinker with this shit. 
But why would he hide it from me? I don't know, but I've already got a lot of parts. How about you give me a bench? I haven't even shot this rifle yet, but I would very much like to upgrade it. Huh. Eugene Linden. Definitely Eugene's place. Firefly pendant, huh? He was a firefly? He served with Tommy. Interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. Ferret's back. Hey, what's up, yeah, Ferret? That's real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ. What? Killed three soldiers and two civilians. Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. <laughs> what do you mean? He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not really news to anybody. They already talked about that. Tommy's a good guy, but he's done some bad shit. Kind of like Joel, I guess, you know? Um, I wanted to come back out here because we never even tried this door. Let me just see what happens. Oh, I can't try it now. Okay, well, something tells me we, we weren't going to be going that way anyway. Um, yeah, I got my bling on. My Zelda bling. I think I'm going to wear it, like, every stream now, actually. Because I love it. And yeah, I, I guess they can't have shiv doors in this game because you don't really need shivs. Ellie's got a knife, so... They had to figure out another way to, uh... Give you a way to get past doors, you know? Giraffe! What's this? Oh wow, she's got an Uncharted-style sketchbook. Look at that. It's exactly what Nathan Drake used to do. Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance, and she touched my arm. Arg, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. <laughs> Tonight was crazy. I feel scared, elated, anxious. Just got to sleep it off. Was Eugene in touch with other fireflies? Did he hear about me and Joel? No, he would have said something. Huh. I mean, would he have? I don't know. I don't really know anything about this guy. I wish they'd stop trying to give me this hint. I don't want a hint. Just taking my time looking around. Yeah, and there's a new kind of collectible in here, too. This is the third one of these I found. Laurent Focalt, CEO Spark. Uh, Brains 100, Brawn 20. Born with a brilliant mind, but hobbled by numerous physical ailments, Lawrence Focalt spent his formative years in hospitals, earning his MD, PhD at age 15. He developed a cure for his rare genetic disease, the patents for which made him a multimillionaire overnight. Within a few short years, he turned millions into billions, giving him the capital to build the SciTech Empire Spark, and free reign to pursue knowledge and progress at any cost. Rumors circulate that Spark has developed methods to infuse newborns with specific superpowers, but Focal has denied these ridiculous claims. And he's got a villain alignment. Alright, fuck that guy. Sounds like a jerk. Was she in touch when the previous page talks about touching? Seems weird. Yeah, there's been some uh, some sexual tension between them for sure. Oh, we got another PS3. This is the second one I found in this game. These people had the Jack and Daxter collection and Uncharted 2. Which is maybe the best Uncharted, if you ask me. I like 4 a lot as well, but 2 was something special, man. Uncharted 2 was amazing. Oh my god. 
What? It's Tommy and Eugene. Oh, I thought that was Look Joel for a second. Here. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's okay. I can tell it's not Joel now, but they do bear a resemblance. You gotta admit. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. But generators are bad. They bring the infected. Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. Uh, the Fireflies want to save the world. To join the Fireflies. Harsh. <laughs> I say let them. Let them go after the military, the politicians. Let them develop a vaccine to save mankind. Maybe one day we'll live to see the fruits of their fantasies. Until then, I have to put our daughter first. The Fireflies will be fine without you. Your daughter won't. She keeps asking me when you're coming home. I can't lie to her anymore. I miss you, but I don't know... How but I don't know how much more of this I can take. Come home, please. We love you, Claire. Aww. You had a whole family. So he left his family to be a firefly, but then he ended up alone here? Oh, we're on the other side of that door now. Okay. Found the generator. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything out here. It's a lot of stuff. Eh, I think we're good. Okay. All right. What's the generator mini game? Okay. Oh, that's better. Oh wow. Impressive workbench, Eugene. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. Workbench. Yes. Semi auto pistol. Parts and supplements are scarce. Use these resources wisely. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is Upgrade the shit out of the rifle, obviously. Stability, add weight to the stock to decrease weapon sway or capacity. Plus three magazine capacity and plus 65 reload speed, all in this upgrade. Is that true? Wow. Okay, cool. A 6x scope, which would be all of our parts. And then damage, which we can't quite do yet. Hmm. I mean, with this giving us reload speed and magazine capacity, this seems like a no-brainer. Like, we want that immediately. And there's a whole-ass animation of her actually making the upgrade. That yeah, is awesome. This'll work. That is really cool. Alright, um, well, let me look at the pistol as well. Looks like all we could do with this is recoil. Would be some bonus accuracy. Hmm. I feel like fire rate would be the best thing for this. Yeah, I think I'll save these parts for now. I just like, they've got like animations and sounds for like every action you take in here. That's so fucking cool. And these sounds are actually really satisfying. I don't know, guys. I, don't, I can't explain what's going on right now. This is just really satisfying to me. Welcome to my ASMR stream. Where we just listen to gun sounds the whole time. Alright. Oh, that's a huge magazine. Look at that. That's awesome. 
Sally, look at the floor. There's more stuff down there. Do you see a way down? Uh, not here. Good Foley? What does that mean? Okay, what do you want me to do about this? Supposed to find a way to get down there? Foley is the making of noises for movies and stuff? I actually have never heard that before. That's uh, interesting. Foley. I've heard of Mick Foley, the wrestler. <laughs> It's the only way I've heard that word said. Right, I don't know how we get down there. Gun noises are almost never actual guns. They're staplers, bits of metal scraping, etc. Yeah, that makes sense. There's actually some really fascinating stories about how they came up with certain sounds for um, the sound effects in the original Star Wars. Like, stuff is never actually what you expect it to be. Oh, what is this? Come on. Um, I think it might be one of the... What's he got down here? Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. <laughs> I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. It's probably just like a giant TV he didn't want to share. <laughs> I'm 80% certain. 80? Wow. Let's see who's right. My money's on sex den. But yeah, no, um... There's a sort of a famous story about a guy who worked on the original Star Wars. Um, he was in a hotel room and his AC unit in the hotel room was busted and making this weird, like kind of ominous humming noise. And I guess he realized it was a really distinct noise and he actually brought in his sound recording equipment and recorded the noise from the AC. And that ended up becoming the noise of like, I think like one of the, one of the huge starships in the movie like one of the big fucking ships oh my god it's weed that's a lot of dead weed wow this explains a lot so that was his bong that we found earlier <laughs> oh, that's so sad guys all the dead weed nobody ever got to smoke it Hey, he's got that videotape thing. Huh. Dong of the wolf. <laughs> Smash Brandy's cooch. Oh boy. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. Hey, he was a man of culture. He liked getting high and jerking off. What else are you supposed to do during the apocalypse? I mean, come on. Maria would lose her shit if she saw this place. How'd he get this together? Must have taken him forever. I wish he'd told me about this. Could have helped him out. Yeah, it is very sad. Press F to pay respects to all the dead weed. <laughs> he made yeah. a bong out of the mask. It's a gas mask bong. God, he was so smart. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, you think the lightsaber sound was largely interference with an exposed cable and a TV? Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, if that's sealed, that stuff might still be good, depending on how old it is. Oh, there we go. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's find out. 
<laughs> yes. This is awesome. Smoke the shit out of you it. You having a hard time? No, I got it. <clears throat> Fuck. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay. It's... Yeah. Well, you could just break the jar. <sighs> Fuck it. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? <sighs> this smells good. I mean, when we struck here a while, right? <laughs> Wonder if they've ever gotten high before. Probably Are not, right? Can I ask you a question? I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash and 10 being life altering how would you rate our kiss from last night why are we still talking about this you said it was a mistake did I say that Doing. I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. And okay. Ellie will give I it a like nine. People around. Ayo. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? <laughs> you make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. Don't want to stop it. Um, that's a fire hazard. Wait, what up? Okay. So that's beautiful, but this is never going to end well, right? Like, they're just setting all this up so that something horrible can happen. I'm a little scared for Dina, actually. I was gonna kill a zombie, but then I got high. That cracked me up, man. All right, back to Abby. She still got that med kit we picked up. Nice. Oh, shit. Great. Infected. Okay. And then the clickers attacked. Shit. Uh, oh, Jesus, that's a lot of them. I think it's running time. Dude. I'm scared to turn around right now. Okay. Fucking hell, dude. Get up there! Oh no. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay. Okay, up this way. 
Stay up top. Stay up top. Keep the high ground. Damn it! Fuck. Oh, this is not the place to be. Get up there! Shit, I don't know where to go! Okay. That'll work. Take it, take it. Does the health get? Oh, Jesus. It got my beanie. My grandma gave me that beanie. Tommy. Oh, I love you guys. Oh, shit. Hold up. Nice. This way. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Where the hell did they all come from? That is a great question. Does is where we going. I reckon we go out the back. We can make a break for the lodge. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, you got a gun? Yeah. Well, I hope you're a good shot. Keep up with us. Uh, I can hold my own sometimes. We gotta warn everyone. Come back with a cleanup crew. We gotta live through this first. Watch them windows. <gasps> Melee weapon. Okay. Hell yeah. The pipe only gets. We gotta move. Get to the door. The pipe only gets five hits in this game, apparently. Oh, really? Sit down, bitch. Nice work, Joel. That's exactly the same durability. Okay, interesting. Up there, the window. That's our way out. You see a way up there? Here, use this. Sorry, guys, I was looting. Hey, girl, give us a hand with this thing. Where? Okay. Push it up under the car. We're getting inside. I'll get the goblin to the window. You two keep those infected. Uh, I'll do my best, Tommy. Come on, goddammit. Oh, no, not clickers. Nice pickup. Get this thing off of me! Help oh. me with this thing! I got you, I got you. Save my hat there. You need me to take over? I got you. Keep those infected away. On your left. Watch it. Ow! Got me in the back. Cheap shot, prick. Okay. <laughs> No, get off me. Joel, I love you. Okay, shit's getting real here. Come on. Go. Oh. Hey, through the window. Let's go. Which window? Hurry. Okay. Man, that was brutal. It's this way. Come on. Everyone, 
everywhere. Don't slow down! Head for those doors! Nice shot, Joel. Through here, let's go! Yes, Dale, they did let me do that. Tommy, that's Joel. What's your name? Abby. Abby, are you okay? Yeah. Hey, you gotta hold. We gotta go back. We're gonna outrun them all the way to Jackson. We need to barricade that door. Tommy, we cannot stay here. The horses ain't making it all Mom, that my way. My friends. My friends are at a mansion just north of here. It's fenced in. We have the whole perimeter secure. Zip all the police. I'll get the door. Right. You can ride with me. Come on. Come on! She's got ulterior motives, though. I don't like this. It's interesting how some of them are, like, literally naked this time around. Like, they didn't shy away from that at all. They're just like, yeah, sometimes zombies are going to end up naked. You know, what, what are you going to do? What about this one? When I was 12, I found a skateboard. Uh-oh. And I tried to get on it. <laughs> and it shot right out from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? I fell on my knife. <laughs> <laughs> I died myself. Oh, is that the excuse? Okay. Why? So she doesn't always keep it covered. Uh, to cover a bite mark? <gasps> right here? She's coming clean. I got jumped by an infected when I was 14. And it turns out I'm immune, so it healed with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and... Ow! Fuck you. <laughs> well, uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story! Oh, you want a bite mark? Uh, <laughs> Do you hear that? Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Jeez. You're supposed to be on patrol. There's a blizzard outside. Is that weed? Why are you here? People are counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town. Without being replaced, no way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides, and we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west. Dina can take south, and you come from the east, but be smart about it, yeah? <coughs> Hmm. Damn, we are about three hours in now, and it's starting to pick up. Those are some good shots from horseback. That's not easy. smart.
Yeah, exactly. Like, you know something bad's gonna happen. Like, we're three hours into the game. There's a lot of game left. It's not like everything goes up from here, you know? <laughs> we're just waiting for that shoe to drop. Saddles off? No, no, it's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and we'll get out here. Oh, got any brushes or a towel or anything? You are nothing but lucky. And you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. And who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? I'm just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Appreciate it. That was nice of him to offer that. I'm Mel, by the way. I'm Tommy. This is my brother. Joe. Y'all act like you heard of us or something. Because they have. No! No. Not like this. He's out. Put him against the wall. Tommy. Get off me. Get off me. Dude, they just fucking ruined his leg. Just give Joel's last name. Yes. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Yeah, if you're trying to intimidate Joel, that's not going to work. You can kill him, but you can't scare him. Turn to get his leg. Do it. That's bad. That's a bad wound. Clear out. What the fuck? Stupid old man. You don't get to rush this. Dude. No, okay, he's still alive. Shut up. He's alive. I'm sure they beat the hell out of him, but they didn't kill him. Tommy! <sighs> Are they fireflies looking for revenge? How do I get Very possible. There? Very possible. I don't know if we've seen any real evidence of that yet. I don't really know who those people are, to be honest. Okay, we gotta save Joel. It's a good thing I saved all these rifle uh, rifle rounds, because I'm gonna shoot all of those people. Our voices down. Should I go that way or should I try and go down towards the house?
All right, let's. You're okay. You're okay. Let's go this way, and maybe we'll like wrap around. That looked like a thing I could pick up for a second. Actually, not even sure where I am right now. I, this isn't the same place where Joel is, right? It's a totally different area. Oh, it is. Shit. Okay. Where is that coming from? But that's right, that's what that light was, the burn infected. Good call, good call. Joel. Oh, they're beating the hell out of him. up outside. We didn't think anyone was going to show up. What the hell did you expect? We got to get out of here before the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. They better not fucking kill him. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! No! 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 Don't like that. Don't like Ellie. that. Ellie. I'm sorry. Jesse! They're down here! Fuck that.
Could I sit down, please? Marie wants to make sure you're eating. She can't stop us. <clears throat> they have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... That's a WLF move. What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed. I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. Give me a day to talk to Maria. Okay. There's got to be some folks you can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was, that was a thing that happened. That, that's, that's just so early in the game for that. <laughs> just wasn't prepared. I didn't, I didn't think they'd do it this early. Holy shit, man. So what, did they just let us go? That's weird, isn't it? before we leave. Just have to pick something up. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's... So... I... I... 
man. Do you guys remember in like, it was either the first or second trailer they ever showed for this game. There was a scene where Joel shows up when Ellie's in the middle of a fight. Like a stealth engagement and he just shows up in like a city somewhere and he's like, what, do you think I was going to let you do this alone? And I remember that because it's, it sets up that whatever driving force there is for Ellie in this game, it's not Joel. I couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. Yeah, it's like it was masterfully executed. Else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Then it's gonna be harder. You can still change your mind, you know. I know. I just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go. I go. End of story. <coughs> you need to get your backpack. I hit it by the east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. Did they do that in one of the trailers for one of the Avengers movies? Probably. That sounds like something they would do. It's a little deceptive, but at the same time, like, you can't deny the efficacy of it. <laughs> Up until the moment that happened, I was like, well, clearly this is not going to happen. Like, I didn't let myself believe it. And I just, man, that just hurts because it's Joel, man. Think of everything Joel went through in his life. And to be killed like that by these punk ass kids, like they were, they're basically kids, man. They're like the same age as Ellie. And they just murdered Joel after he survived for like 25 years through the harshest shit. Like, I mean, uh, it's like he said in the first game, right? It's, it's just luck and someday it's gonna run out. I guess his luck just ran out. I wasn't ready, guys. Like, even even knowing that this game was just emotionally brutal and hard-hitting. Like, I read all that stuff. Oh, look at all the stuff people left for him. God damn it. Comforting, though, you know, knowing that he had people who cared. He didn't die alone. And maybe that's all you can ask for in this world. Like, I was fully prepared to stop playing whenever I got control back, because I'm like, OK, it's time for a break. But I really want to know what Ellie's talking about. With this thing she has to get, so. What do you need? Oh, I can go get it. I want to do it. Okay. I'm okay. Come on. Ghost Joel, a la Joker, and Arkham Knight. <laughs> Damn, man. Done here. Thanks. I can't tell if that makes me want to laugh or cry. Maybe a little of both. To Joel from Ellie. Oh, guys. Huh. I know, I guess. <laughs> that was a good day. What? <laughs> what?
What was a good day? I feel like I missed something there. Joel B. Juan Kenobi. God damn it. <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> you guys are straight up killing me. Uh I didn't miss anything. Well, that's good. Coffee. Joel love coffee. Drew a picture of an owl. It's all this. Um, okay. We left off on the right side. Um, my mouth tastes like iron. Wounds break open as I sing. You were the soft twang of nylon. A smell of wood oil. Fret fool. Guitar strings with iron sound brighter. They mistook your resonance and left me with rust. All I have is our last conversation, looping like a chord progression, harmonies and blood. WLF, Washington Liberation Front, who are they? Tommy said her name was Abby. Fuck, man. All right, I pulled it out to look at the other page. It was just a picture of an owl, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. That whom she made when inspecting the cup felt so Shenmue-like. Nice. Well, that's comforting. That's a good observation. I like that. She's probably going to get the guitar, isn't she? Gotta bring the guitar. What if she beats Abby to death with the guitar? But then she wouldn't have Joel's guitar anymore. So maybe that's not such a great idea, actually. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Oh, wait, no, that's a journal entry. All the promises at sundown, I meant them like the rest. Oh, look at that, Joel was into woodworking. That's pretty good. Man had talent. Got a whole guitar collection. the coat he wore during winter in the first game, right? They killed my father. Now it's time to waste hours of revenge seeking on mini games. Yeah. game would be better if it had Lucky Hit in it. Ah, there it is. Alright, let's uh, save that for last. It's the photo of Joel and Sarah. What's this? Mm -hmm. 
all the watch. And <laughs> the snub pistol from the first game? Really? All right, all right. Yeah, he actually, um, he accepted the picture. Okay? All right. Um, he accepted that picture of Sarah towards the end of the first game, right before you get to the Fireflies. Man. Yeah, you just hope that he's with Sarah now. And Tess. Even if you don't necessarily believe, you hope, right? Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Don't try it. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's gonna get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria. Just uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. <laughs> Yo, no promises, all right? <laughs> This shit's gonna get worse before it gets you. better. You're losing light. Guys, I just feel like really bad inside right now. Like, it's, uh, Seattle day one. Wow, we're just skipping straight to Seattle. This hunter was on top of him, drowning him, and Joel couldn't get to his gun. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just... I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? <laughs> wow. What happened? Guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. You got me beat. 
Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. God damn, guys, she's like an what orphan again. What about those again. crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. Okay, so that's going to be a mystery going forward. Did she just say that the Fireflies already came after them once already? Wait, Ellie wouldn't even know about that because Joel never told her the truth about what happened with the Fireflies. Sorry, I think I I think I think misheard a line of dialogue or something. Who, who did she say came after them once already? I missed that part. The smugglers in Boston and the cannibals. Oh, the cannibals came after him once already. That's what she said. Okay. I, I don't know where I, whatever. I, I yeah. Okay. Um, I don't even know what the fuck to say, guys. That's, I'm like torn up right now. That's just, that just sucks. This seems like a good stopping point for today. I think we should take a break, reflect a little bit. Maybe go cry. Maybe maybe some some manly tears need to be shed, you know. And uh, <laughs> I just I just wasn't ready, guys. Even uh, just like I just wasn't ready. I didn't I didn't think it would happen right then, you know. I figured it would at least happen like maybe halfway through the game or later, if it was going to happen at all. And then they just came out with it. Pour one out for Joel. That sounds like a good idea. So, yeah. All right. Let's let's take a break there, guys. Um, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> this stream. Uh, I figure I figure we'll cleanse the palate a little bit tomorrow morning with uh, some Stardew chill stream. Just, you know, for uh, an hour or two. And, uh, you know, at normal time. And then later on in the day, we'll come back and play some more of this once we're emotionally ready. So, uh, yep. Okay. Thanks everybody. Peace out. Dale, Jay bridge, ferret, Norman, Donna. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.